everyone and welcome back to our second lecture on the lesson of real numbers so uh, now our job today is to figure out a little more about the real numbers and uh, what they are and uh, of course because the uh, real numbers encompass all the other kinds of numbers we will be studying all numbers at once and talking about their properties okay fast so let's dive into the real numbers as a review recall that the in our last session we have seen that the set of real numbers within r with a slash on the left can be expressed as a decimal expansion yeah now if you think about what that means so uh, there are really two options okay so for example when i write out a number with a decimal option the first choice is that i have some repetition yeah for example if i take uh, 1 by 6 this is 0.16666 and this 6 is goes on forever and ever and you may be more familiar with writing this with a bar over it yes and uh, there are not only that uh, you can also have seen that 1 by 7 so in this case we have see how many digits we have the repetitions we have this 1 4 2 8 5 7 all this six digits will repeat and repeat and repeat so you can certainly have a repetition in your decimal expansion yeah and that also counts so if we have a finite decimal expansion as well for example if i take one half it is possible to write this as 0.5 yes we all know this we are all familiar about this but uh, you can ask now that uh, where is the repetition here well uh, we tend not to write this but of course it is also possible to express this as many many and many many zeros as i want it after okay so uh, you don't write this as zero bar uh, once you have hit the zeros and this goes on forever we tend not to write it but uh, we are we can think of it as a having repetitions of zeros so really in the case when where zero repeats you have a finite decimal expansion so just good all some zeros after some 0.5 still would be infinite but would be repeating depending on the number yeah and one more important thing is that uh, it doesn't have to have just one number repeating as we have seen in the 1 by 7 case we have so many numbers here repeating See, certainly you can also have uh, point one two one two one two one two or point three four three four three four three four or you can have point two three two three two three in this way so you can have uh, whatever how big you want it to be that uh, doesn't matter as long as you have some repeating part okay so this uh, special class of number we denote this as q it is because in our last session we have seen that set of rational numbers is denoted by q and you know that uh, the reason behind is in this case that if you have repetition in the decimal expansion then this type of number is always can be expressed as a fraction okay and uh, of course we saw this numbers to be q as a set of rational numbers now another class of numbers uh, which uh, which is our second choices for the decimal expansion was that we do not have any repetition here and numbers of this form tend to be like uh, pi which is uh, 3.14159 and this goes on forever square root of 5 which is another kind of this numbers that goes on forever 2.23606 and whatever dot 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 
another kind of number say Euler number E which is 2.71828 so this goes on forever and ever and the important thing is here the important difference with the recurring decimals here is that this in this case the digits do not repeat yeah you can go out forever and ever and ever but you will not find any sort of pattern in this case okay this, this is the important thing to remember here precisely there are many many and many types of decimals that repeat and there are infinitely many that do not repeat and this and in this case this special class of numbers we denote this as a set of irrational numbers well uh, irrational numbers don't actually have a nice pretty set name to him but uh, we can think him about him as the uh, as all the real numbers that does not belongs to q and we can also express this as like a subtraction sign r minus q i have seen this or you can write that as like in this way so uh, there are lots of different ways to express this or you can just denote this as irrational numbers but uh, it is recommended to use the set notation okay so the real numbers are basically split it into two kinds rational numbers and irrational numbers and uh, of course instead of the rational piece as well maybe we will draw like a family little tree here so we have our reals we have our irrational number and on the right side we have our rational and then of course on the rational side of the family tree is certainly the integers then you have the set of whole numbers you have your natural numbers so uh, precisely this is the another way to sort of think about the real numbers yeah one thing that uh, comes up often and you already saw it is the square root it's a uh, kind of hard to talk about real numbers and not really talking about the square roots yeah I just want you to remind uh, you that uh, what a square root is just as you know so first uh, let's define this and we are going to define the square root for alpha to be any non-negative real number beta so it can be zero uh, so that's fine but it should be non-negative so the square root of alpha which is beta such that beta square is equal to alpha and uh, i wanted to find these things formally but i think uh, you know this uh, when you see them if i say to you um, let's give some examples here mm -hmm. so what is the square root to four you think in your head well what number squared is four it's two yeah it's obviously but here is the key part though you could also say like this that uh, negative of 2 can be a square root of 4 i mean minus of 2 square is also 4 right but we always want the non negative one okay i want to like the positive or zero but it should be non negative so actually a lot of people get this wrong they say is it plus or minus 2 what is going on here now if you take a square root it is the positive number if the symbol you think of it as like it's a positive number and so you know some of this uh, you know that the square root of 9 is 3 square root of 49 is 7 some of these are just more well known than others but uh, and uh, some of the ones that trip people up a little bit or square what number squared is 1 unless there is one what is the square to zero be careful here a lot of people say it is undefined or something weird but no it is not true what number square to zero well that of course is just zero yeah so this is why we allow things to be non-negative notice all my answers are positive or zero to say that in one term is non-negative 
so i said to watch out for and i think that everyone else might get confused on our these two here yeah just seeing too many mistakes here and of course saying like plus or minus or something weird like that no square root is always 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 positive always always positive remind this okay the ones that are not immediately obvious to us of course are things like uh, square 2 or square root of uh, 3 or square root of 7 for this if you want the decimal expansion you should just have an idea what they are give or take but on a computer or calculator you are free to use I would say don't hesitate to look this up. This is 1.41421 etc 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 and uh, round to whatever number you want. But here I just want to caution here against one thing though because these numbers are irrational and even if I write that root square root of 3 is 1.732 I get the calculator and I wrote it here but still it is not super great you know. It's a little bit of abuse of notation here. The square to 3 goes on forever and forever and ever and ever. I have seen this written all the time though and I have also seen many people neglect this thing and they say round to 3 decimals or round to 4 decimal. So uh, the takeoff lesson is technically just remember if you round you are approximating yeah you are saying that you are taking some four decimal or five decimal rounding off but you can't get it as accurate as you want okay so suppose if you are building a bridge or some building like go out and just get eight decimal or nine decimal if you need get whatever you need so the structure stands but just remember even if you chop it off after the hundred decimal there's always the hundred fast so you are always rounding yeah so take a second pause the video and tell me what is the fast four decimal r squared to five see if you can beat me to it i squared to five maybe even this no somehow i don't know but these are the things that are not well known to humans but definitely well known to calculators so it could be two three six zero six and of course if you are around six to seven is because the next decimal is 9 that's fine too as long as you get uh, close enough uh, that's excellent it is super good if you start cutting things off you just put a period here and it just remember you are approximating yeah so um, square roots will uh, come up a lot as we talk about the real numbers and there's a nice way to generate irrational real numbers which we are going to talk in the upcoming lectures.